What did I do with that when I was underemployed? Well, I went in and I changed it. Instead of saying visible, visible to only my connections, I changed it to visible to anyone. Where does that show up? Well, that shows up on my profile to those that aren't on the first level. And to the first levels, it appears on their homepage. So what did I put in there? Larry is looking for a fantastic opportunity in the Chicagoland area where he can use his networking skills to assist with the bottom line. What did I do with that? I said, pick me, pick me. I'm the one you want to go to. What else happens because I did that? I said it shows on my profile. LinkedIn gets a query from Google every day. Who has modified their profile? I didn't really modify my profile, but my profile view has changed because I changed the words on it, because I changed that. So I was always in the top five or in the top 10 on a Google search for network engineers in Chicago because of the thing they call server engine optimization. So I suggest you use that. It helps promote you promotes you to people that are in LinkedIn, and promotes you to people that are not in LinkedIn. People that are not in LinkedIn, when they do a Google search for, in this case, senior network engineer, they would come up with a list of senior network engineers. In Chicago, I would always be in the top 10, generally in the top five, because I tried to change it every day. If you're looking for candidates for a role, are you gonna pull 50 people out of Google? Are you gonna pull somebody in the top five or 10? And on my profile, you'll see that I do not have a picture. There's a reason for that. Every gray hair on my head belongs to my oldest son. But the reality is, I'm looking for work if I'm looking for work. And I have heard time and time and time again from people who were in the HR field, they don't want to see my picture because they don't want to see what I look like because they want to look at the skills that I have and they don't want to be swayed or persuaded by a photo. Basically, this is a copy of my resume verbatim. I went to a lot of work to make my resume scream my name. I went to a lot of work to make my resume say what I do. I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. Why would I? There are a lot of people that tell you adjust your resume to the job. There are a lot of people that tell you to do that kind of thing. It's difficult to do in this product. You only got one, player, one presentation, one play, okay? But I've never been a big fan of that anyway because then I have to keep track of every resume I sent and every time I tweaked it so that if I end up going to a job interview, I gotta find the resume I gave them and print it out. Well, because I always take extra copies with me on cardstock, good cardstock. Why is that? Because when you give it to people, they go, ooh, nice paper. They think you really thought about them. You're not printing it off on cheapo paper, you're printing it off in good cardstock. Leaves a better impression. But I always print it off before I go. Can't do that if I can't keep track of it. If I have one resume, it's one resume. It's my experience, it's what I've done, it's, that's my belief. And so I'm sticking to that. And I don't adjust my profile. It's everything that's in my resume all day. There are actually two places on LinkedIn where there are jobs. One is inside of groups. If the group moderator has activated and allowed the jobs tab to be there, any member of the group can post for free a job to the group. Who sees the job? Only members of the group. Is that a whole lot of people that see that? Probably not. No, that's really small compared to what. Maybe that's the only place they're putting it. And you have a leg up on maybe because you now you have something in common with somebody that's in the same group. You say, oh, I'm interested in that. Because you know that a member of the group has posted it. So you can maybe find out more about the job like that. The second place where there is jobs out here is actually in LinkedIn. LinkedIn charges companies, recruiters, et cetera, to post jobs like Career Builder, Monster, and all those other sites. Really kind of interesting. So you can go search for jobs right here in LinkedIn. I can do a couple things here. There's two buttons that will show up on the bottom of the job. This is one, Apply Company Website is one of them. <coughs> if you click that on the Supply Company Website, it takes you off of this thing into the appropriate company website where that job is, you can apply right there, okay? The other option that's available here, it says Apply Now. 
same yellow button, different words. Okay, apply now will use the LinkedIn facility to apply to a job. Okay, when they use the LinkedIn facility, you can upload your resume, you can copy and paste in a copy of your um, cover letter, that kind of stuff. And when you send it, automatically, LinkedIn attaches a copy of your profile with your recommendations. Really? Yes. Why are recommendations important? <clears throat> with your recommendations off to the person that posted the job. And again, when you're out looking, you have a list of target companies. Typically I said, have 10. 10 target companies is great. That's what you want to have. You want to be working that. Something falls off, move everybody up, add one to the bottom. Something falls off, you keep doing that and doing that and doing that. That's what you want to do. Uh, on introductions, with the free account, you get five. Five introductions that can be used in use at any one time. That's not five forever, it's five at any one time. Here's the analogy. Who has ever been to the drive up window at the bank, not the ATM, but the thing with the pneumatic tube? Everybody been there? Yeah. yeah. You know what they're doing? Here's what I invariably do I put the stuff in there, I seal it up, I put the tube in there, I press the button, and I look over on the seat next to me, and there's one of the checks I meant to put in the daggone tube. Can I give them the check right away? No, I have to wait till I get the tube back to do it again. Think of these introductions just like that. It's a message tube. I put my messages in there. I press the button. It's gone. I can't use it until it makes the round trip and comes back to me, either by somebody rejecting it or somebody saying at the end, I'll get it, whatever. And in this case, it's a little bit different. You can also, if it stands out there for a little too long, you can go to the sent, sent introduction. You can get it. And you can actually withdraw it and get it back before it completes the cycle. So again, but five, five should be plenty because what are you targeting? Your three top target companies, you're doing those all the time. I think one time I had four out. One time in a year and a half of searching.